The Secrets of Argentine Tango. In this video, we're going to share with you why you should get into tango if you haven't yet. We're calling our side Tango on the Hudson. Tango is the dance of love. Why tango? Social dancing. Tango as a social dance grew from the idea of improvising together by using a rich mix of movements, constantly developing as tango subculture keeps evolving. Tango can be compared to a language used to communicate with another person, each conversation being unique. At every moment, the partners decide what they will converse about, depending on the music, skills, and desires. Given a rich movement vocabulary, these conversations may vary in an almost infinite number of ways. Here, the most important thing will always be not what the dance looks like to the outsiders, but how you feel dancing it with this particular partner to this particular music. Many people come to tango to try out something new, something they always wanted to try, something just to meet the opposite sex, to socialize, to dance, to move their body. This is what it's all about. Tango is a dance of improvisation. You never dance the same tango twice. You go the music, you go with the partner, with your own skill level. As your skill level increases, your pleasure increases, and the enjoyment that you get being with other people of like mind. Here's a photo that's from tangounderthetent.com in Sugarloaf, New York. It's a wonderful nonprofit program for people who enjoy socializing and meeting new people and being in a great environment. The first impression. The impression that strikes a new person observing the tango floor in a milonga, which is a dance, a tango dance, for the first time is actually the intimacy of what is happening. Despite tango being quite a dynamic dance to quite dramatic music, a man and a woman embrace each other closely and start moving in a synchronized way, harmoniously, but without showing off. The basic structural element of the tango is a walk together, where the man, the leader, leads, moving forward in the direction of the dance, and the woman follower follows by walking backwards. To imagine, however, that in tango, a powerful macho is controlling a pretty princess, would be just as wrong as to suppose that a classical ballerina is a fragile, weak creature because she plays the spirit of a dead girl. Tango, like any dance, embodies a particular cultural notion of what it means to be a man and a woman. In tango, this motion, notion has both European and South American roots. These origins give rise to this particular image of a proud, seductive, smartly dressed man and a sensual but tre treacherously elusive woman. However, this is just the surface. And quite honestly, one of the beauties of tango is the clothing, the dress, the woman's high heels, the men's stature, the elegance of it all. It's a wonderful cure for loneliness. The first and probably the most important thing is learning to create a close physical contact with another person. A contact that is sensual, deeply felt, musical, intimate, yet not sexual. Yes, it sounds paradoxical considering Tango's erotic connotations. As modern human beings, we mostly lack this kind of physical contact and an unbiased contact. Our environment rarely provides us with a possibility of cold physical contact, devote of sexual ambiguity. We hardly dare to touch our friends, even less our co-workers. Sometimes we do not have a lover or a significant one in our life at this moment, and with family and children, physically contact is not always that straightforward either. Yet, we see more and more scientific studies confirm that physical contact helps to heal depression, reduce anxiety, and increase the level of the love hormone. And you know, the love hormone is not only love someone else, it's love yourself. Because you have to love yourself first before you can love anyone else. And yes, tango is a cure for loneliness because you enter the state of flow. 
Tango, therefore, can be seen as a dance that reflects the human life as a succession of encounters and relationship with another. The second important aspect of tango is learning to trust the flow and to act spontaneously, fully living the present moment. We can see tango as a dynamic awareness practice. For the dance to happen, both parties had to enter the state of flow and to be fully present all the time, communicating with each other by dance movements. This flow experience is very important in itself and has absolutely nothing to do with whether you are a good or bad dancer. Living the present moment in full awareness is always a transformative experience that takes you to yourself, your true center, your desires, goals, and emotions, letting you know what your inner being finds most important, what you allow yourself to do and feel and live, and which experiences you deny yourself. You know, most of us either live in the past or in the future. Tango gives you the opportunity to be in the present, to be in the flow, to feel your body, to feel the closeness of another body, to share with someone else the flow, the joy of music, the joy of being spontaneous. Because tango has couple dynamics. True tango is only possible if both partners are all the time listening to the other and actively interacting. Many long-term couples who come to tango discover to their surprise subtle hidden mechanisms of dependence in their relationships, of buried resentment, responsibility avoidance, or blaming all the mistakes on the other person. This couple dynamic surfaces during the learning process, allowing the couple to review and improve their intimacy. Often, people also meet their shallow side, one they refuse to feel. Fear of true intimacy, emotional dependence, lack of self-confidence or mistrust of life. Sounds scary, but personal growth is not possible without first becoming aware of your psychological blocks. And when you start to dance tango, and you start to understand the music, and the feeling, and the vibration, you become aware why this dance is having a resurgence around the world. For one reason is the intimacy. Tango provides a context for this process while remaining a pleasant hobby and a source of great enjoyment. On the outside, tango may seem just a synchronized couple dance or approved for a sexual encounter, but on the inside it is neither. People who dance tango feel like they touch upon a mystery that is impossible to convey in words. The deeper you go into tango, the more you realize just how much it serves as a metaphor for any kind of human contact, be it love, sex, friendship, parenthood, or collaboration. And this means that we can learn true intimacy on this universal primary level of body movement to the use this knowledge later in other areas of life. Intimacy. You're in that moment. You're together. It's not a sexual thing. It's two human beings enjoying the experience of being in the moment. The Tango community. There is a feeling of community and inclusion in the Hudson Valley Tango population. There is always room for new members to come onto the Tango dance floor. Tango dances are taking place all over the world and the tri-state area. Especially here in the Hudson Valley, we have some really great tango dances, which are called milongas, going on. We also recommend the Daniel Dance Studio at the DanielDanceCompany.com. They are great Argentinian dance instructors from Argentina that will help you learn and get you going on a wonderful path with their great knowledge and great training. We highly recommend them. We also highly recommend going to our YouTube channel. We offer over 790 videos on the uh, bandelon, which is the Argentine accordion, the milonga danza mista. We have the tango orchestra, the most famous tango singers, tango performances, tango music, and a great selection of tango lessons to help you get going and feeling more comfortable on the dance floor. Please share this information with everyone in your world. 
for anyone that you know that's feeling lonely, having had bits of depression, and wants to make some human contact. Because, you know, as they said in uh, many shows on Broadway, what's the use of staying alone in your room? Come on and do some tango. See you in the next video. Please subscribe and share this with everybody in your world. Bye-bye. <laughs>